Whatever. Should should I sit on this side? Let's see. Does it matter for real? Well, I'm just trying to see. Let's see. So petty, bro. All right. That's good. How's that feel? Don't feel right. I'll go back over. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Now it's enough. Now. Welcome to Live 365 Radio. When you see me and Rod in the building, we know it's what. Love. Love? Yeah. It's Thursday. I thought it meant like love because it's Valentine's. No, it's not. Okay, I mean, it's right on. after. It's right after Valentine's. It's Valentine's month. <laughs> Valentine's has a whole month? Yeah, it's love month. So you still celebrate it? I mean, it's, it's love all month. Like, you should have had a great weekend be, that led to a great love month. But shouldn't it be a great love year? Okay, well, great love year, but I mean, we just got reminded of a, a specific day that leads to the rest of the year, but it's the Valentine's Day. What month. did you do for Valentine's Day? Uh, what did I do? Damn. No, so I, I, I got her some gifts. Uh, I got her some, some outfits and some boots Aww. and uh, kind of had them sat up on the bed uh, once she got off work. And then we were going to go out to dinner, but somehow we got tired and fell asleep because I barely make it awake past 930 anymore. Because he's getting older, guys. That is happening. Like, I haven't seen 11 o'clock in a long time. If I'm not working, I'm asleep. Oh. Guys, we have Tim, the matchmaker, with us today in the building. You know, it is still a continuation of love, I guess. Thank you. So, yes. we wanted Don't to be have hateful. Tim. I'm not hateful. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> we should love 365. Right. And live and love. I and live you. and love. But I you, like that. you party for Valentine's weekend. I've seen it. No, you where, were you? where were you at? You were out of town with some friends and family. That was last, the weekend before. I thought that was Valentine's weekend. You getting old. I need you to get your sleep so you You're remember. Right. I was yeah. in Houston the weekend before for my cousin's birthday. Oh, that's right. So yeah. Valentine's weekend, I was here. What'd you do? I just relaxed on that Sunday and I went to dinner later that night. Where? At um, Ray's. Raised on the river? Well, it's another raise that's affiliated. Oh, I'm about to yeah. say, look at you, big money. Let me find out. Yeah, you know, I'm just like, trying hey, to treat ten, myself ten. nice. That's them eighty-five dollars uh minimum plates right there. That's right, the, right. The situation that raised. You know so. what? You gotta love on yourself, right? You Listen, gotta love yourself. I'm but. still recovering from your birthday dinner. It was three hundred and twenty-five dollars. It was not. It was out of control. It was not. He lied. <laughs> Guys, while they're lying, um, today's topic is understanding and recognizing patterns. And that's before you start really getting into a relationship mm -hmm. or while you're in a relationship, because that's very important. Correct. And that is something that we miss. So that is why Tim, the matchmaker from Meet My Types, is here today. We're going to talk about these patterns, and we're going to also talk about his upcoming show. His, uh -oh. um, yeah, he got uh -oh. <laughs> Somebody got to do it, man. Somebody's got to do it. It's going to be exactly. so great. Oh, that's why your teeth are so white today. You I know. Be I'm prepping. <laughs> I'm getting ready. <laughs> yeah, so I had an opportunity to work with him on these trail, uh, you know, on these, um, his documentary, okay. right? And so he's kind of explaining, you know, um, how he became a matchmaker and all that kind of stuff. But I'll let him talk about it. But right. I wanted to jump in because, you know, the month we talked about, we're going to talk about Black love and right. how we build communities and things like that. So when we talk about Tim um, dating and stuff like that, the pre, you meet the guy or you meet the girl and stuff like that. And normally the representatives come Correct. in. And then also a lot of times there are you know, certain patterns that you see, but you overlook because you're really excited about this yes. person. Can you speak on this rep rep representative? I can't even talk. Representative. Yeah, I mean, like when people... Um, I mean, if you're dating a certain type of person and all your all your situations and experiences go a certain way and, and that's a good way, then, you know, there's nothing to change. You're, you're great. But if the same crap keeps on happening over and over again, at that point, you have to recognize, OK, what am I doing here? Is it the same kind of person I'm going for? Is it me doing something that, that's going on? And a lot of the times we don't recognize the patterns that we're doing. All we do is get mad and blame the other person, you know, and in a lot of situations, yes, people do use their representative to, to kind of 
I don't know, like we all do it to kind of, we put on our best face to get someone to get close to us, to pull someone in, right? We all do it. Mm -hmm. Problem is, is that if you're full of BS, you know, you're going to fool a lot of, a lot of good meaning people. And, and that's why we have to make sure we understand our patterns. Why am I just letting somebody off the hook because the booty big or because they got some abs? Am I just letting everything slide and not realizing they're actually a horrible person? These are the kind of patterns we have to be we have to be honest with ourselves about um, because when things go wrong, it's, it's, we've got to do better than blaming the other person. Everyone's going to put their best foot forward. We can't blame them for that. Mm. That's fair. That's fair. I like that. I mean, you do need to put your best foot forward, but the foot that you're putting forward needs to be truthful. Oh yeah, the, the toenails got to be trimmed. You got to get rid of the ash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, um, yeah, we 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 all do it. It's not it's not fronting at all. It's actually just part of the the dance of dating. And yeah. you know, all this fair in love and war. People are going to try what they can from using like taking pictures at certain angles to <laughs> you know. Oh, oh bro, yeah. that's gotta stop. Don't lie. Don't that's gotta lie. stop. Is it? <laughs> And people, people find ways to make themselves look smaller. Uh, right, smaller. right. There are plenty of apps out there. Like, I mean, sometimes I'll use filters. You know, I'm guilty yeah. of that. But you won't find a lot of those pictures because I don't want, first of all, I like who I am. I like mm -hmm. how I look. And I know sometimes we like Snapchat because all the time the day yeah. I was playing with little filters and stuff because they have some fun filters. But I do know that there are some people that use them all the time or they just take yes. pictures from the waist up because they're not comfortable with that. Right. That's the thing you and I were talking about is that, you know, I think, like you said, we've all to some degree put a representative in there. And I think it's because people don't really ask the question, feel comfortable asking certain questions. Like we do the, do you have kids? No. Uh, are you married? Mm -hmm. Are you dating somebody? We do the basics and that's fine. But then it's like, we feel so uncomfortable to really ask hardcore questions and i'm not saying this is the first date okay i'm not saying that you're not yeah. getting that right. but mm -hmm. as you see that we're progressing on having conversation yeah. that's to me the time to really kind of start letting out a little bit more so right. we can know if we even want to do this yeah i think that you know like you said you know we can't we can't legislate for some, for what someone else is going to do in terms of their representative but we can do something about ours and you know like i said what what you just said, you know, asking the, the, the tough questions at the right time. That's a good pattern to get into that a lot of us don't, you know. Yeah. But the other thing that we can do as well, if we don't want to ask the tough questions, then be very definite about how we present our representative rather than it being this, this unrealistic thing that we can push forward, just be brutally real. If you're into Jesus, turn up there with with three crucifixes around your neck, be real. Like, dude, I'm just gonna let you know from the beginning, I love Jesus, all right? If you're not cool with that, let me know. Exactly. You know, that way, you know, you, you kind of force other people to be honest when you start being more honest. Of course, we know the problem is, and I see it with a lot of clients, they don't know, they're not sure about, but which is the real me? How do I, you know, I don't know enough for myself. No one's gonna find me interesting. And that whole confidence issue, that is a big problem because yeah. it can, it makes life a lot easier when you can just kind of show who you are from the jump. Yeah. That's why I yeah. like the, the Meet My Types, um, you know, the, the program, the, uh, the coaching and the events is because when you, you know, when you deal with Tim, right. you know, I told you he does like a love resume. So, you know, you yep. give him information, it's in depth. And so when you go to the events, you already have, you're empowered with your love resume. Um, and when you go to the event, you're already pre-matched. With somebody that's in yeah. as well. Yeah, you're okay, already right. pre-matched. And, and I'm talking because I was the host, okay? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're already pre-matched. It doesn't mean you can't talk to other people right. after that, but based on you know his program, his HI and all this stuff he does, it says, okay, Tim, Rod, Ricky. You sit down with them and you're armed with that information. So now you can ask questions, you can share what your love resume says, because you're like, okay, this is me. Okay. So now you're at an event that gives you the opportunity to be honest. We're sitting here, you've got yeah. to be So you're like, yeah, I like sex five times a week. What about you? You know what I'm saying? Well, oh, is that, oh, is that thorough? I mean, it's thorough. Is that thorough? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it is. 
and that's <laughs> and that's a real conversation that has to be had from the off because we remember we've done events and people were like five minutes into the event it's like where you going oh yeah we're good we matched we're we'll getting to the hotel <laughs> like it's like they were serious because some type some personality types are into sex or express how they like you through sex which is fine for those personalities that understand that other personalities now nah, you got to show more you got to do more talking they're into the whole mental thing so it really depends the problem is a lot of us are going for the wrong type of people you know and you know we're trying to wear we're trying to wear sexy clothes to the library no don't do that just wear an overcoat and some nerd glasses if you want to go to the library because those are the kind of people that are there you know so people have to understand so that's what the resume was about to kind of like reintroduce people to who they are and of course the way i got the, res the information for the resume was from like analyzing people's hormones based on their time of birth that tells me everything about what your core personality is because a lot of times because of life um uh peer pressure socialization we tend to become different types of people we tend to become uh personas that aren't us you know there's you know we all have a work persona then there's a church persona and we got so many personas in life sometimes we get a little lost about okay what my original persona and right. so the relationship resume presents that to you and puts you back in touch with that. So you can now start dating as yourself and start meeting the right people that will resonate with your persona, with your true Tim, persona. Tim, how many spouses have you introduced? Uh, well, yes, spouses yes. spouses is, 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 is technical, all <laughs> right? Spouses, not, not everybody gets married. And, right, right. and that's interesting. That actually leads to what I covered in the documentary mm -hmm. because in these events, you had people by the dozens hooking up and dating but not everybody was getting all the way to Everyone. relationships you know all in all there's about seven couples that have actually got married and stayed together but this is over a period of like five six years yeah so that's not that's not good so i'm like why are people getting together and i realized that a lot of them still when they were getting into relationships they hadn't dealt with their trauma mm -hmm. um you know there were um there were things that they they didn't know how to maintain relationships. They didn't have the emotional intelligence developed. And those are the kind of skills. I mean, yo, it doesn't take too much to attract somebody. Yeah, because, you know, show better chest, tighten up, tightly, you know, hitch up your skirt. Yeah, you're going to get attention. <laughs> but when it comes to maintaining that relationship, once you've got that person's attention, that's a whole different skill. Mm -hmm. And if we haven't seen it from our parents or our aunties or uncles, yeah. we're only learning it from TV. And then when we start acting like our couples are on TV, then yeah, it, it, it's not gonna work. And that's what was happening. So I had to readjust my whole game. So I, I cover how I made that shift in the documentary. Mm -hmm. And that leads us right to today where I've got the matchmaking service that, um, that focuses exclusively on you first. And when you're straight, then I introduce you into the world of matchmaking. Oh, I like that, don't you? I like that. It's a little more hardcore. It peels the onion back. I like that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I look at it kind of like too, you know, when you use, um, you know, uh, examples of like, think about shoes, right? When you go right. to try on shoes, you know, sometimes they fit perfectly, sometimes they fit, but they hitting that bait, that bunion, that toe, or, <laughs> or it doesn't fit comfortably. And that's what I look at relationships like, or just meeting somebody. You meet them, he's handsome, but right. we know physical is first. So he's handsome, he's digging on you. So bam, we got that. Now, are you married? Are you whatever? Okay, we got that. Do you have kids? Do you want kids? Right. But then somewhere down the line, there may be something that don't resonate to you or that you don't prefer to have, but you still right. push past it. You know what yeah. I mean? I've done that where it's like, oh, he's been through that too, me too. You know what I mean? And then you get together and what he says about the past trauma, you haven't dealt with this. So you guys are kind of being like somewhat of band-aids without real adhesive. And then right. it ends up, you know, going left. And so that's what I like about the gotcha. event that Tim does is because first it fo focuses on you. Right. People do not want to focus on themselves sometimes to realize that, you know, women or men may be like, you know, I'm ready for a relationship. And it's like, yeah. are you really done? Yeah. You know what I mean? And so that's why when I always say, oh, I just got a relationship. You're like, it's been a year. Oh. It's like, but it's <laughs> not really a long time if you feel that you're still growing and evolving and stuff like that you might not be ready to be 24 7 somebody and that's okay 
you yeah. need to be ready for that. But you got to make sure that you're not doing stuff off of desperation. My clock yeah. is ticking. Um, I'm older and, and, you know, I don't want to live my life alone right. because I hear those conversations like, man, am I going to be alone for the rest of my life? And I'm like, you need to be okay with that, even though it may not be true. But you know, there is as well, a, a lot of people, I mean, and it's sure it's easy. Men and women think like that, you know, it's like, oh, it's Friday night again. I've got no one or look, you know, I've got like three eggs left. <laughs> need to get them inseminated, you know? And the reason why a lot of us think like that is because we have too much time on our hands. Mm -hmm. our, our, after our nine to five, we've got nothing left in reserve for our own life in terms of like our purpose, what fulfills us. We just want that time to be filled up with somebody else. And a lot of us get into relationships, like just because we're bored, we need something to do. And what I try to tell my clients is that you need to find and focus on your purpose. Because when you do that, you're going to realize there's so much that you had to give yourself. When you start doing the projects or the, or the activities that actually fulfill you, you realize that you don't actually have to put that much on someone else. You yeah. can make yourself happy and that can go a long way. To the point where you're not desperate or you can now start focusing on real choices, taking your time, being patient, not being so pushy. What are we? What are we doing? Where are we going? Just yeah. enjoy the moment. Hey. Enjoy the moment. <laughs> I am right on. <laughs> My favorite position, I'm in the beginning of a new relationship. Now I'm upset. <laughs> hey. First name. My last name is Minger. Okay, let's go with that. All right. <laughs> this is how old I am. Okay, let's start with those, and then we get to the other stuff. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what you say, enjoy the moment. It's like, I get it. It's like, if a woman knows I want to be married, I want to be have children. I'm not saying that that shouldn't be, you know, something that she right. desires. I'm saying it ain't every man you meet. You know right. what I mean? Like, every guy you meet because you're already in a mode of, I want a husband. Right. It's like, is he my husband? You know what I mean? And then sometimes we force it. But Tim, talk a little bit about the... Because Tim is, he consults on this. And he has yeah. a whole program called Love ASAP. Yeah, I, mean, I think I used the program. Did you? When we had him on the show. You didn't use it. Yes, we did. We did when he was over here. Oh, well, that was just a piece. Okay, it's well, a whole yeah. program, like consulting, yeah. you know, helping with, like when we talked about on the show and you guys, and I'm going to show a clip of um, uh, what's, come, what's to come. I'm going to put a trailer up there for oh, nice. the show. But we talked about, is like you know with dating apps you know right. dating apps you know i asked him is it a good thing a bad thing he mentioned you know it's what you write on your dating apps you know i i've been on them before and i'm one of those people that he called lazy because uh -huh. you know i was like you got to sit there and you really think and then i'm mm -hmm. only really tiptoeing on anyway because i really kind of don't like dating apps yeah, but i have friends that go girl you should try and then i get on so i just put the bare minimum but as tim what, explained what just bare minimum. <laughs> yeah. I want, I want to see one. It's not on anymore. Oh, okay. However, but he talks about, you know, it's trigger words. Right. The things that you like, you know, talk about that, Tim. I mean, that's the thing, right? So just like you said, you've got like some people that could just be chilled and take each day as it comes. And then some people legitimately, they may feel like, no, seriously, I need to get married this year. And that and that's fine. But if you know you're gonna you, you're gonna want to get married or be with somebody and you're gonna put those kind of constraints on it, then take it seriously. And when I say that, I mean, if you're gonna buy a house, you know, it's no process that happens overnight. People are involved, legal stuff. You, you got to check on maintenance and on titles and paperwork and bank statements. Um, and similar, pro similar process with a car. If you're trying to figure out what's the best loan or the best bank account I can invest in. These are things that you, you, you stay up at night, you download stuff, you go to professionals because you know it's a serious thing. So if you're going to take dating seriously, then you got to look at it in the same kind of way. I need to get my specialist, check my um, do my checks and balances, get my information. And so that's what like the Love ASAP program is like. It makes sure that if you're going to like say use something like dating apps, then be serious about it. Understand your type, that you have an energy pattern, right? It's, it's, it's everything about you and because you have a pattern other people have patterns some patterns merge together great and the fact that if there's somebody who is your type there are certain words certain sentences they can read that are going to trigger them to want to talk to you 
It's just as simple as that. Everyone's got triggers. And the people who know this best are kids. Children observe us all day and know our patterns. And they know there's certain things they can say to get to get us upset or to get our attention. And the same way how um, our parents as well, our parents know us and they can do like, we can just be just chill. Your mom can say one thing, ruin your whole month, you know, <laughs> because <laughs> she, she knows your patterns. Yeah. So much in the same way, um, when I'm talking to clients, I'm asking, you know, I get them to understand how these patterns work. And then um, when they give me, I'm like, tell me what you want to say on your, on your profile. They'll tell me that I'm like, right, you need to word it like this. Right. Use these keywords for the types you want. And what happens is that once they put it out within three days, they've got four times the amount of attention than they would have got simply because of what they write. Now, it also helps that your pictures also have to reflect what you say. There's no point in saying, you know, I love being by the beach, but all your pictures show you in bed in your apartment. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, it, it's, got to, it's got to line up. So a lot of work has to be done. You're either a homebody or you're like being by the beach. Make up your mind, be honest, speak your truth. Yeah. So I make them really think about what they're doing. Um, and it's not so much about chasing people because a lot of folks are like, oh, I don't want to go dating enough, I don't want to swipe. No, you don't have to. If you take the right pictures and you write your profile in, a, in the right way, you just sit back and they'll all come to you. It's, it's, it's so easy, but you have to own your energy. You have to own your sexiness. You have to own your image and just project it. We yeah. see all the time, everyone says, oh, that girl's pretty. She gets all the attention or that guy gets all the attention. No. They're just guys and girls, just like all of us are. Someone is going to love us for it. Doesn't matter our shape, size, it doesn't matter. Just put it out there, love it. Someone else will love it more than you. But some of those pictures on them, they nap. Oh, people trying to. No, first of all, <laughs> take a clear picture. Don't take no bathroom picture. <laughs> Don't be taking pictures with your dog. I mean, well, you can take, I know Flash, I love Flash. No, I but what I'm saying is, <laughs> They're not quality pictures like these cell phones are, are really great now. But I've seen as I was on there, because you know it's physical first. Before even those trigger words, you'd be like face, then you like. But again, someone that is serious about dating is going to take the time to really read your bio right. on there. But I'm just looking at some of the pictures. I'm like, you are right looking. I'm looking at your bio, but the pictures, and I'm talking about all of them just be horrible. And like you said, is taking it seriously right. like we've not talked this kind of stuff so right. when you date you just dating randomly and now knowing this they may make some people go well, right he right but i don't feel like doing all that then you'll end up with the same type of, re of relationship mm -hmm. that you've had before that's yeah. why you have to dig deeper with self first and then so you got the love asap but then tim has uh what is the card called What's the car? Oh, oh the car. Well, he had this car, right? So say I go out, right? <laughs> and I meet, <laughs> yeah, and I meet a guy, right? Okay. And so um, I can take that car, right? And they can, well, they take their phone. And oh, know. right, right, right. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. I don't want to mess it up because I'm, I'm getting the car. All right. So, yeah. So, like, you'll see somebody and basically just put the phone to the back of their card and it takes, to a, it takes you to a custom page where all your information is there, they can read up. Yeah, it's, been, it's been slow today. <laughs> I promise. Here we go. There he is. So the information's there, and that person can read about you on the spot, hmm. and then they can put their information in to say, all right, put your daytime place of birth. We're both going to get an email. Tim's going to send us a report letting us know what kind of relationship, what kind of potential, what's our highlights, low lights, and we can take it from there. Wow. And you may not do that the first day, I'm saying, because it's like, hey, let me get you, hit you with this car. But I'm <laughs> you getting to talk to them. And it's OK to say, if you're really, really serious about dating, hey, I have this program I do or whatever to see if we're right. compatible, because that will tell you a lot about the person. I'm not saying they have to do it. But if they're in the same mode as you, then I don't see them going, well, no, you didn't ask yeah. for like, social security number. You're just saying, hey, I just want to see our compatibility. If they're scared by that, hey, that's a sign. But yeah. if they um, do it, and then now you guys are able to see the commonalities to see if yeah. you want to move forward. I think yeah. it's ingenious. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's like, um, what 
just like any product, you know, nothing is for everybody. Mm. It's for some people. And I do tend to, the clients I tend to work with do have some kind of interest in understanding themselves better. There's no real age thing. They're just the kind of people that want to understand more about how, to, how can I use meditation? How can I do yoga? They're, they're at that point in their lives where that means something. They don't, they don't want to do things the old way, you know? And so, yeah, they're definitely looking for guys that are open-minded, that are kind of doing the same kind of thing and will be like, okay, sure. I'm not scared. I'll put my information in, you know, because if you, if you ask a guy to do something that interests you and he's not prepared to do it, he's not for you. That's not, that's not your guy. Don't worry about it, yeah. you know? Yeah. So there's some probing that needs to be done before somebody even attempts to try to use that card, correct? Yeah. So you need to be like, some, some conversation needs to be had. Absolutely, yeah. We go through a whole thing where I, I make sure that um, they understand that how, you know, because obviously I'm looking at, I get my information on them, right? Their hormonal analysis, I do that. So I'm like, all right, this is what my data shows me. You're this type of personality. And that's, you know, I've got to go over that with them because sometimes I've had people like, um, I'm not going to say it, they're in the room who give me the wrong time of birth <laughs> and what I get doesn't line up with who they are. And I'm like, are you sure this is you? Then it's like, let me call my mom. Oh yeah, I was born at 7.30, not 6.30. That happens all the time. So yeah. once they're aligned and we've got all the information right and everything, um, then it's just a matter of making sure that they are comfortable with their behavior patterns. And when I say that, you get some people that... Um, they're very aggressive, mm. very aggressive. And they're like, yeah, I need to change that to get more guys. But I'm like, well, look, according to your personality, you're the kind of person who's a leader, in the, who's a community leader who likes to get things done, who initiates actions and stimulates others. So that energy you have, that aggression, it's not a bad thing. You mm. just need to start using it in the right kind of way. Yeah. So I've had people that, like it's been like a weight lifted off their shoulders because all the while they thought that this part of their personality was a bad thing. Yeah. But no, when you understand you and you understand how you can use it, you realize, oh my goodness, that's my strength. And that will be a big, that's also a big factor in how they connect with guys. Because now any woman like that needs to deal with, um, needs to use that aggression. And that aggression is only going to work with assertive men. So start focusing on assertive men. Simple as that. Simple as that. I like it. You like that? Let's go. That's why when I say when people ask, I hate this question. Well, I don't say I hate this question. You know, I'm, um, a man to go, why are you saying <laughs> like something wrong with me or something like that? And you know what? I came to the conclusion is for me, one, you know, I welcome love. Let's say that for all mm -hmm. the fellas out there. Okay? Uh -oh. I do welcome love. However, <laughs> she's ready. <laughs> but I'm saying this is that I'm okay where I am because as he said, now I'm, you know, doing some things that I did put to the side for a while right. um, because you have a partner and you do want to consider your partner. You can't just be in a relationship and then be about yourself, you know, totally just right. by yourself, about yourself. But when men say, you're, you know, why are you single? I understand that now, especially at my age and me wanting to, you know, I'm working on evolving your higher self and all that kind of stuff, honing in on that is that I will not connect with everybody. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, I choose not to just be like, he's fine. He got a job. He makes good money. He's this. And then I, you know, just decide to connect with him. Right. I mean, my spirituality, my journey that I'm on, the things that I like to do, if it does not align, because as you get older, that's when you feel like I don't have time to waste. Right. I don't have yeah. time to be just, I don't mind dating, but right. I don't have time to be wasting in five years and three years here and all that. I need to understand and recognize patterns earlier. Right. I need to first, before that, work on myself then as you're out there, you know, dating, right. you, you're recognizing patterns. You're okay with that. Like for me, you see my social media, what you see there is what you get. I right. like to travel. I like to talk. I like, you know, trying to help my community. It's certain things. Now, if I get a guy that's like, well, I'm more of a homebody. I don't really right. like that. It may not work. It's okay to be opposite sometimes. But yeah. I've had people where they kind of like, you move around a little bit too much for me. And I'm like, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I don't feel like, oh, uh, well, I'll stop moving around a little bit. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not doing that. Yeah. And we've all done that in the past, tried to kind of change ourselves to sue somebody. And it's like, ah, oh, that is not the way forward, man. I've done it. It hurts. You feel stupid. You just lose out. And it's enough. And so when I figured out a way for me 
to you know be more confident about me and n- not change myself for others because they don't respect you at the end of the day. If, if you're going to change to someone like that, yet yeah, they're not going to respect you. And then you're going to be like, but oh, she went for that guy. And all he's doing is he's being a complete asshole, but he's honest. He's yeah. an honest asshole. Yeah. But you got someone like me yeah, trying to like... <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <honest asshole. laughs> Back in my day, I was, I was an honest asshole. He's like, that's me. I'm like, dad, I'm being attacked. Mm-hmm. But I, I was honest. But my boys were like, yo, man, why you seem to have it? You don't have as uh, trouble as me and women the way that I do. I'm like, I don't know. I'm honest. Y'all be... Send good yes. morning Y'all say good morning, beautiful, and tell me your work schedule. I'm like, hey, I hate you when I hate you. And, and yeah. yeah, and all those guys, and my boy posted some, all those guys, like the people that live in the climates with snow, he said, where are all the guys that say, hey, beautiful, hey, queen? <laughs> where you at now? I need my, my driveway show. <laughs> things to do, right? If you want to show you like now nah, slip out here and bust my head, you know, now you might say, hey, you know what? Is your driveway shovel? You know, yeah, or whatever. You yeah, have yeah. A that's real. A nice that's jet. real. So, <laughs> like, we're all over there, you know? So, yeah. You but, gotta see me that's hilarious. I know, yeah. Mm. Hilarious. Oh, <laughs> speaking of, get your hilarious sweatshirt from robminger.com. And Tim, thank you, thank you so much. Guys, I'm going to uh, put in the trailer so you guys can follow. It's a lot of great information that Tim shares. Also, there's some mm. giveaways that um, we'll be doing. Because we're going to be doing, but every, after every episode of okay. The Matchmaker of Atlanta, there's the Aftermatch show. After and- hosted by your girl. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we talk for a little longer. We talk, we cover stuff that's in the show. Um, and then we also have some giveaways that we do for, you know, we give you a little task. It's not too hard, but we give you a little something, something to do. The all. prizes are good. The prizes are good. <laughs> Your mind is always in the gutter, you know what I mean? But guys, I want you to tune in because the giveaways are great and um, it's just a plethora of information for you for those that are looking to date. Seriously, mm-hmm. stop with the BS. If you are seriously, uh, um, you know, you want to date, you want to learn more about yourself first. Let's start there. Let's learn about ourselves first. Then if you want to date, definitely hit Tim up at meetmytypes.com. He has consulting, coaching, all that kind of stuff to help you with that. And also watch the show. It will be where, Tim, where they can catch it? They can catch it. Um, it starts, episodes start next Tuesday on IG Live. Okay. So at 7, did I say 7.30 or 7 p.m.? At 7 p.m. You know what? Damn, oh, what? On Thursday? On Tuesdays. Oh, okay. I'm about to say you can't do Thursdays because we're on all Thursdays. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's going to stream uh, on IG Live. Okay. And then, uh, and it's going to do, I think I'm going to do Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, you know, so like day on, day off. But, or they could just catch the whole show on meetmytypes.com if they, if they don't want to wait, you know. Okay. Every Tuesday, a new show will be released. So, yeah. Sweet. And I'll drop that trailer in so you guys can see. But as you see, me and Rod, uh, everything that we do is about empowering you guys to be better in every capacity of your life. And so we bring on guests and sometimes we just have that conversation with you all, but hey, we gotta love better. We gotta do better. And the exactly. thing I need to send you is, I found uh, my boy posted something that said, let's normalize giving, getting married before baby. Oh, I see that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I thought that was good because even to do that, it sounds good, but even to do that, you gotta do the work. You gotta do that work you that before. Cause I don't want it to be where, you know, let's normalize where it's like, hey, I met her. We're right. shooting for getting married. We're shooting for, uh, what do you call it? scheduling a family where right. we can say we're pregnant instead of me going, I'm pregnant. Oh my God, what are we going to do? Yes, so, yes. <laughs> I was seeing 20 like, uh, like you almost like, how did I get pregnant? It's like, uh, I ain't even do nothing. <laughs> I ain't even do nothing. Right. I, <laughs> sex leads to pregnancy. Stop I know. Asking. I know. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Yeah. So thank you, Sam. <laughs> and um, guys, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to follow us on our YouTube page at Live365 Radio ATL. And then also, we are newly on the XOD Network. So we will be streaming live for us called Experience on Demand, um, XOD. You can download it at mm-hmm. Apple Play Store and the uh, Google Play Store. And you can see us stream there live yeah. on Thursdays. And yeah. then we'll be housed there as well. So you have YouTube, Facebook, and you have the XOD app. So we're trying to blow up like the world trades. So support us, 
support him, support yourself, you know what I'm saying? And, and call him if you are looking for love and all the right places, okay? Thank you guys. We'll see you next week.